Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Did you know it's Better Speech and Hearing Month? So we're going to talk about one of the most common treatment options for hearing loss, hearing aids. More specifically, how they're adjusted to fit the needs of each individual's unique hearing loss. Here to answer our questions is Dr. Fenya Matson. Dr. matson has been with Jacksonville Speech and Hearing Center since shortly after receiving her doctoral degree in 2004 and has been serving the Northeast Florida area ever since. Thank you so much, Dr. Matson, for being here today to lend your expertise. Thank you so much for having me today. Let's get into it. Uh, as I said, the most common treatment option for hearing loss is hearing aids, but I want to know a little bit more about how that works. Are hearing aids a one-size-fits-all solution? No, they really aren't these days. Fortunately for us, we have different sizes, different styles, different technology levels, including Bluetooth now, so it's really nice. And there are definitely other options to consider because somebody may have special needs financially or their insurance may dictate where they have to go to get hearing help, which is important to know ahead of time. Also, there are just um, so many options out there and it's helpful to know what's out there ahead of time. That way you can make some good choices. There really are a lot of options out there. How does someone know which hearing aid is right for them? It helps to talk to your hearing health care professional because there may be some special needs like sound sensitivity, tinnitus may be another issue in their life. <clears throat> they may have difficulties in their work environment or school environment or with their family. These things need to be really addressed because it's important that it becomes perfect hearing device for their needs and their hearing loss. Okay, so let's say you and your patient have agreed on a treatment plan. You got, you selected a hearing aid. Then what? What happens next? We sometimes make ear impressions for the hearing aids if they're customized. Um, we select the color that the patient would like to wear, make sure that their size is measured properly so that things fit correctly in their ear. And um, it takes a couple of weeks to have them made. And generally the, they come in and then the office will call them and schedule them for a prescription fitting. And then that is done uh, with the patient face to face. And they, um, it can also be done on the internet. Sometimes it depends on the situation and if they're able to come to the office, but we try to work with each patient individually. Um, first thing we want to do is make sure that the prescription and the target is met so that the patient is hearing comfortably and sounds are not too sharp or too echoey and it feels good. And we usually work with them for a couple of weeks, let them practice in their home environment and go back to adjusting things if things need to be adjusted or addressed. Okay, so it sounds kind of like individuals have unique needs and then we're trying to meet those unique needs through the hearing aids. You said uh, that we can change things if the need changes. What kinds of needs would call for a change in their hearing aids? Sometimes our hearing health changes. There are times where our hearing has shifted or gotten worse. And these are things that we can catch. And you know we are gonna counsel the patient on those things and make sure that what changes that are occurring are not due to health reasons and make sure that we follow up with our doctor if there is something going on like an ear infection or there may be wax in the ears or something that wouldn't be picked up normally. Um, and these are things that we can communicate with the patient so that when they are coming in, they're getting adjusted properly and they can continue to wear them and hear very well. Okay, so hearing aids don't, don't always stay the same way that they were when you first were fit with them. You're saying that we can change the, the programming or adjust the hearing aids, is that, that correct? Yes, some people would like to have certain types of programs for their environment. Um, for example, if they frequently go to a restaurant, they may want a special program for restaurants. 
Um, if a person is going to school, they may have a setting for lecture and uh, meetings and, and so forth. Um, some people would like some help with their cell phone because they cannot hear on the phone at home or they need Bluetooth technology to communicate with their phones. We can help them with that. Okay. I would say that today's patient is pretty savvy, especially with access to things like Google and WebMD. Why would a patient need a set of hearing aids uh, instead of uh, picking something up off the shelf or ordering something online? What's the difference there? Well, there's a huge difference. As you know, healthcare needs change. Um, if you pick something up off the shelf, it may be fine for you if you have a mild hearing loss, it's not a problem. But how would you know if that mild hearing loss is due to earwax or an infection or something that needs to be addressed? You wouldn't have any idea. So it definitely is important to see a healthcare professional who will check your hearing and check your ears and look inside and make sure there's nothing that needs to be addressed uh, medically and make sure that those things are, are corrected first. And then if hearing aids are recommended, that would be the next stage. And then matching up the correct technology, the fit, the style, and making sure that they can afford them or if they don't have the means to afford them, find resources for that. Okay. All right. That's a lot of good information to have. Before we wrap up, is there anything else you'd like to share with our patients and our followers about hearing aids, hearing aid adjustments and things like that? I think it's wonderful that patients are getting more savvy and looking online ahead of time because that actually helps start the discussion. And they're there just to get help. They know there's something's not right and they want to make sure that they do it the correct way, which is what I love about helping patients. I would, I find it very um, important to make sure that they get their answers and they get correctly fit the first time <laughs> with their hearing devices. That is really important. I would agree. Uh, thank you again so much for joining us here today. I appreciate that you took the time to share this information with our patients, with our followers. It's always helpful to have someone answer questions that has expertise in that field. So again, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. It was my pleasure. And I just would love to help anybody who is interested in finding out more about their hearing health and options for them. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. So with that said, if you would like more information about your hearing health, if you would like to schedule an appointment with Dr. Matson, that's what we're here for. So check out our website for more information, www.shcjax.org, or give the clinic a call at 904-355-3403. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye.